the number of countries that are trying to improve the management of the agricultural sector, to improve their strategies in general, under the Comprehensive Africa Agriculture Development Program, reach uh, the uh, mark of 30, which is a big achievement. 2011 is also um, the second year that African economies have started to grow again after the crisis uh, of the uh, 20, 2008 and 9. Uh, the growth rate fell to close to 1% uh, around those years and has picked up again toward the 5-6% uh, range and it is projected to reach 5.3% uh, next year. So uh, that is uh, good news. Uh, however, that progress masks uh, the fact that Africa has had a couple of decades or more of economic stagnation and decline in the 70s and in the, uh, in the 80s. The question now for 2012 and beyond is how African countries can build on the recovery uh, to transform the economies, to make them uh, grow in the direction of uh, emerging economies and more mature economies. What we have seen is that the recovery process has not uh, solved the problem of unbalanced growth in Africa. Uh, of uh, labor not being absorbed by sectors that are growing faster and are raising productivity. So that overall productivity in Africa isn't growing the way it should. So countries need to do a couple of things, not just in 2012 but beyond, is to continue the effort to improve management of the agricultural sector to get agriculture growing again and much stronger. But I also have to look at complementary policies outside of the farm sector itself uh, towards higher value products, towards enterprise creation and growth outside of agriculture in support to agriculture. In particular, the agribusiness sector, the uh, expanding urban demand for food, the growing networks of uh, distributions and packaging and others need to be supported so that uh, African farmers are connected with the expanding demand but also have the capacities to integrate the much more demanding modern value chains, to be able to work with processors, to be able to work with um, traders, to be able to have the standards and the norms and the qualities that are, that are necessary for a modern value chain to support growth in agriculture. That is going to be important. But the modernization process doesn't stop in agribusiness. It also has to embrace the industrial sector. Uh, African countries have shied away from innovative, effective industrialization policies after the failures of the 60s of public sector-led industrialization. They have now to go back and come up with creative ideas to uh, promote enterprise growth, enterprise creation, product sophistication, and product diversification, not just in agribusiness, as I said, but also in the manufacturing sector that's emerging in some of these countries, and even more importantly, in the service sector, we have a lot of handicraft and other low-quality goods being demanded by local households that could be improved. So as agriculture growth, as countries are modernizing their sector and investing in agribusiness, they're creating the incomes to demand more of those households goods that are being created in the service sector which can serve as a launch pot towards industrialization and manufacturing uh, growth in these uh, uh, economies. 2012 uh, as 2011 are also the years where African countries will have to deal with higher uh, global food prices which are both an opportunity for them in terms of greater competitiveness of local sectors but also a challenge because of vulnerable populations who may be uh, hit with it. So here again, I think the efforts under CADEP to improve policies should uh, be an opportunity for the countries to have a good look and be able to know how to uh, benefit from the opportunities coming from the higher world food prices. If the price hike was temporary, uh, it will be a different story. You deal with it in a short term, but we do know that the increase in global food prices is a long-term phenomenon. We'll have it for the next decades to come. So 2012 as 2011 are the moments where African countries building on the recovery process, building on the ongoing CADEP renewal process, 
should think hard, uh, should think really, really seriously about how to position African agriculture to be a winner in the future and profit from the, uh, an environment of rising global food prices.